It's meme time, it's meme time Gather all your friends, it's meme time It's meme time, it's meme time The only cure for sadness Whoa, now this is fancy The opera at the Clez What a place to hold a performance No wonder Linny and Lynette were looking forward to it Huh, looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead Oh, Archon, please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fun King. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vache. What's wrong? Vache. Vache. No, Paimon didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Ah! Oh, Annette! You scared Paimon! Why did you get here? Hmm... Lenny asked me to wait here for you, remember? Ah... Uh, right... What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. It's because of his sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. So, what did the voice say? Huh. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Lenny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Lenny. Ah, Traveler and Paimon. Good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss it for the world! We've been looking forward to it! <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment, I'll fetch the tickets. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! 
Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Lenny! Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. if we don't say anything. Oh, you little... <laughs> of course you put this on Paimon! Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Oh! Uh... So you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. Uh, wait, that's not it, Paimon's... sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's, too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, so you're not friends with Linny, then? Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. <laughs> ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudain. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across to that. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Oh, Monsieur Nervillette! What an honor it is to have you here to see my show! Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Wait, Nervillette? Could he be... Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillette is. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become... flustered. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. Huh. She sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right. Please wait just a moment longer. 
I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show is finally about to start! Ooh, Paimon can hardly wait! Paimon's never seen a real live magic show before! Mom will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Right before your very eyes. <sighs> it's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh-huh. Did 
of the water tank? How did she disappear and then reappear out of nowhere? If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Ah, guess you're right. Paimon couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant, after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now... There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap! Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Oh, uh, let me see... Oh, row 7, seat 3. Congratulations! You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh! Paimon kinda wants to count faster after hearing him say that! <laughs> no, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58! That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh! Alright! You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40! 39! 38! Mr. Linny, are you alright in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. 
I'm just double checking the direction of the magic. She would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. Sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. Twenty-five! Twenty-four! Twenty-three! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. N never mind the decorations! There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? 19! 18! 17! Ah, uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's alright. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Ten! Almost there now. Eight. Whew, swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait! Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, nope, that's not it. I'll try again. Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two, that doesn't count! One, zero! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> You get it. 